There's Only Two of Us Here by Ed Harrington. I camped one night in an empty hut on the side of a lonely hill. I don't go much into empty huts, but the night was an awful chill. So I cooked me billy and had me tea, and seen that the door was shut, I went to bed in an empty bunk on the side of the old slab hut. Must have been about 12 o'clock. I was feeling cosy and warm. When at the foot of me bed, I sees a horrible ghostly form. It seemed in shape to be half ape, with a head like a chimpanzee. What the hell was it doing here? And what did it want with me? You may say, if you please, that I had DTs, or call me a crimson liar. But I wish you'd seen it as plain as me, with its eyes like coals of fire. And it gave a moan, and a horrible groan that curdled me blood with fear. And there's only two of us here, it said. There's only two of us here. I kept one eye on the old hut door, and one on that awful brute. I wanted to dress myself and get to the door and scoot. But I couldn't find where I'd left my boots, so I hadn't a chance to clear. And there's only two of us here, it said. There's only two of us here. I hadn't a thing to defend myself, not even a stick or stone. And there's only two of us here, it said again with a horrible groan. I figured I'd better make some reply, for I reckoned me end was near. By holy smokes, when I find me boots, there'll only be one of us here. I got me hands on me number tens, and out the door I scoot. And I lit the whole of the ridges up with the sparks from me blotcher boots. So I've never slept in a hut since then. But I tremble and shake with fear when I think of the horrible form what moaned. There's only two of us here.